What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Brandon Figueroa gets the seventh round knockout victory over Luis Neri to become the WBC 122 pound world champion. So, he will be facing cool boy Steph Stephen Fulton in September in a unification bout. I didn't understand what Brandon Figueroa was doing coming out right from the beginning. He was just fighting on the inside in a fight that he had in a distinct height advantage, a distinct arm reach advantage, and he just chose to fight in the pocket with uh, um, uh, Luis Neri. Luis Neri power hasn't translated from 118 to 122. He just hasn't showcased it. He didn't showcase it in his last fight, and then tonight he didn't showcase it again. Okay, and uh, Brandon Figueroa, he just put relentless pressure on um, um, Luis Neri all night long. Uh, he just kept coming, fight, fought, uh, pressing the fight, you know, fighting him in the pocket, uh, hitting him with combinations. And uh, Luis Neri, he was landing, you know, uh, clean punches. He was landing, you know, uh, body punches. He was landing big, clean punches. But again, uh, it didn't have the same effect that, you know, uh, um, Brandon Figueroa power was having on him. And then in the seventh round, he landed a big left hook to the to the solo plex, to the ribs, uh, and he just stopped uh, Luis Neri with that, that, that punch to the body, okay? He just could not recover. He couldn't get up. He couldn't beat the count. It was delayed. You know, uh, now Omar Figueroa is now, I mean, excuse me, Brandon Figueroa, 22 wins, uh, 17 wins by way of knockout, no losses, one draw on his resume. Now he holds the WBC and a portion of the WBA, and he will be fighting WBO, undefeated, 122-pound uh, world champion, superstar boxer, cool boy Steph Fulton. Uh, Brandon Figueroa is 24 years of age, stands at five foot nine with a 72-inch arm reach, okay? Uh, and so uh, that's what I, I didn't understand, why he didn't use his height and his arm reach advantage, okay? Because Luis Figueroa, I mean, excuse me, Luis Neri is five foot six with a 66-inch arm reach, so he had a distinct arm reach and height advantage over uh, um, you know, Luis Figueroa, but he chose to fight him. I mean, Luis Neri, I keep saying Luis Neri. He, he chose to fight him in the pocket. Uh, he did not respect uh, Luis Neri's power from the beginning. You can see he was just completely pressing the fight. Uh, he knew that he had, you know, the advantage in power. He stated leading up into this, you know, uh, uh, that he, uh, Brandon Figueroa's power, I mean, that Luis Neri's power didn't translate to 122 pounds. Uh, we saw that in his last fight. Brent, uh, Luis Neri uh, stated that his power did translate. He got back with his old trainer after he was with, you know, uh, trainer um, Eddie Reynoso, Canelo Alvarez trainer. Uh, he And he, only for one fight, but his power didn't show up. So he decided to go back to his old trainer, and his power just still didn't show up. His power didn't translate. It just doesn't translate to 122 pounds. With that said, cool boy Steph Stephen Fulton, 19 wins, no losses, 8 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he's 26 years of age. He stands at 5 foot 6 and a half with a 70 inch army. So again, Brandon Figueroa is going to have, you know, a, a height advantage over uh, cool boy Steph. Uh, and he's going to have an arm reach advantage. And not as much as he did in the Luis Neri fight. Uh, he will have a two inch arm reach advantage, but he still have the same three and a, three and a half inch height advantage over cool boy Steph. The difference is Stephen Fulton is a much better athlete. He has much more power. He has uh, much more boxing, better boxing skills than Luis Neri. You know, uh, he's quicker. Uh, he's the better athlete. Uh, he's more accurate. So it's going to make for a much more interesting fight. But I know if Brandon Figueroa, if he comes out in the manner that he came out uh, tonight, with, uh, um, you know, uh, the way he came out with, you know, uh, Luis Neri, it's going to be a completely different fight. So if he fights in a man that he fought uh, against Luis Neri, you know, uh, then he's going to lose. We saw Cool Boy Steph. He has the ability to box on the inside, as we saw in his last fight. Uh, but he also has the ability to box on the outside, okay? So Brandon Figueroa is going to have to be much more... Um, creative than he was tonight just just plowing forward just throwing bunches of, he's always a you know a volume puncher okay one of the rounds he threw like nearly a hundred punches okay 
So he's always a big volume puncher. He always throw punches and bunches. He's very active. He has power in both hands. He has the ability to take a punch as well. You know, uh, but he doesn't have the quickest feet, but he puts relentless pressure on you. And he's very, very tall. He's very, very rangy. You know, so uh, Cool Boy Steph, you know, his accuracy that he shows in his last fight, you know, his ability to, uh, you know, um, to utilize the ring to his advantage, he's going to have to do that in this fight because Omar, Brandon Figueroa is going to be coming. He's going to put, he's going to pressure him every second of every minute of every round because if he, he can't, he doesn't have the ability to box uh, Stephen Full and Cool Boy Steph on the outside. He's going to have to box uh, Cool Boy Steph on the inside. He's going to have to make it a rough, rugged fight. But the difference is he's going to have to mix it up. He can't just come be uh, wild and sloppy. He was very, very sloppy tonight. Uh, very, very wide with his punches. Very inaccurate. You know, and he took a lot of big, clean punches that he will not be able to absorb against uh, Cool Boy Steph Fulton. So in September, I'm expecting Stephen Fulton to win the fight against uh, uh, Omar Figure, um, excuse me, Brandon Figueroa, you know, uh, but it's going to be an action-packed fight. It's going to be a unification bout, and I can't, I absolutely cannot wait to see how it unfolds, okay? Uh, Luis Neri, I believe that he should go back down to 118, you know, uh, his power translated when he was at 118, you know, he had to get a nutritionist for himself to be able to sustain the weight and go up and keep his strength to moving up four pounds. So that means he's not naturally, you know, 122 pounder. He needs to go back down to uh, 118, you know. Uh, but, you know, there's some big punches. There's some big fights down there for him as well. You know, uh, I was waiting to see uh, Luis Neri and uh, Anui, okay, but Monster Anui. But the way he took uh, the punches, clean punches tonight, I don't know if he can take uh, Anui's punches. You know, I think that, Nui's power, his quickness would be too much for Luis Neri. You know, uh, he, you know, uh, in this fight, you can't really say because obviously uh, Brandon Figueroa is a much bigger guy than he is, and he moved up in weight to. He became a two division world champion. He accomplished what he wanted to accomplish, but he just didn't have the power. It just didn't translate. So I believe that Cool Boy Steph is the best 122 pound in the world. But we're gonna find out in September. I think he's going to have to use angles. He's going to have to be very smart. And Cool Boy Steph is going to have to be defensive responsible. He can't be like he was in his last fight. In his last fight, you know, he wasn't that defensively responsible. He was fighting a lot in the pocket, to many surprise. Uh, he took a lot of big, clean punches in the pocket in his last fight as well, you know, uh, but he got the best of his opponent. Nonetheless, though, I believe that. You know, uh, he, he can't use that game plan. He's going to have to mix it up. Now, he can, you know, uh, uh, fight Omar Fig uh, Brandon Figueroa in the pocket because Brandon Figueroa, uh, he, he tele uh, telegraphs his punches. They're wide looping, wide punches that's sloppy, and he leaves himself wide open, okay? Uh, so, Angelo Leo, who was undefeated, 20-0, and 0, you know, uh, Angelo Leo had power, you know, um, he was five foot six with a 69 inch army, so not as big as Brandon Figueroa. Okay, so now we're gonna have uh, September 11th, uh, 2021. We're gonna have Brandon Figueroa versus Cool Boy Steph in a, uni a massive unification bout with a WBC, the WBA, and the WBO titles will be on the line. Uh, it's gonna make for a very interesting fight. Uh, like I said, I'm picking uh, uh, Cool Boy Steph to win the fight. You know, I believe that, you know, his accuracy, his ring IQ, his ring generalship, uh, his athletic ability, his quickness uh, will be on display. And he showed in uh, Angelo Leo fight, he showed that, you know, uh, he could take a punch. Now, obviously, Angelo Leo, he don't put, he don't um, pack the same punch that Brandon Figueroa packs, you know. So he can't take too many big, clean punches from Brandon Figueroa. And Brandon Figueroa, you know, uh, I was impressed with the, you know, the fact that, you know, um... He went to the body for a guy that was much uh, smaller than he was. You know, he was mixing it up. But the way he was falling into his punches tonight, uh, I just it just leads me to believe Cool Boy Steph would take advantage of it. Uh, I think that uh, Stephen Fulton could possibly stop Omar, um, excuse me, Brandon Figueroa. Omar Figueroa was his brother who was stopped last week. So uh, I believe that he can stop, you know, uh, Brandon Figueroa. But Brandon Figueroa, he has the power and the ability to stop Cool Boy Steph. So this is going to make for a massive, massive event in September. And I absolutely cannot wait 
to see how it plays out and unfolds. And, uh, you know, we, we're on our way to getting a 122-pound undisputed world champion. So let's see how this plays out and unfolds. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Buzz Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share your videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sport TV. Wow.